Eastern Michigan University with my voluptuous, my beautiful African Queens of Flint in Muskegon, in Big Rapids, in Inkster, in Highland Park, in Detroit, in Ann Arbor, in Ypsilanti. I'm going to take pictures with all my beautiful African sisters in Michigan this weekend because I'm showing the balance. I'm showing the love and the appreciation for the great divine feminine. And I need the great divine feminine to show love and appreciation for the great divine masculine. That's another contradiction. No black men on the NABJ panel, complete contradiction. And let me say this to my Chicago Africans. If I go to Costa Rica, if I get my passport and go to Costa Rica, I'm pulling up in, I wanna pull up in Chicago. But ain't nobody sent me any information. Ain't no protests, no march, no meetings, no rallies. Chicago, what are we doing about the Democratic National Convention? Are we really going to let Kamala Harris and Barack Obama and Joe Biden and the rest of the Democratic Party and the Congressional Black Caucus, we really going to let them come to Chicago? We're going to let them come to Chicago and disrespect us in our face. And we ain't going to show up and show out and demand some restitution from Kamala Harris. Chicago, are we really gonna let the Palestinians show up in bigger numbers than the American Africans? Are we really gonna let the Palestinians show us up in our own city? Chicago, what are we doing? We gotta be having something going on in Chicago. Ain't nobody sent me nothing. I'm still waiting. My phone number is 215-989-9858. 21598. We better have a rally, a meeting, a conference, a think tank, a protest, a march. Chicago, you cannot do nothing at all. You are facing the most aggressive migrant crisis in American history. Black Chicago, Black Michigan. We got to stand up for our sister who was just murdered and massacred in Springfield, Illinois. We got to stand up for her, Springfield, Illinois, all Illinois Africans, East St. Louis, Illinois, all Illinois Africans. The whole black America need to be in Chicago, August 19th to the 22nd. The whole black America need to be in Chicago, August 19th to the 22nd for the Democratic National Convention. I anticipate it's going to be more buffoonery at the DNC than the BET Awards. I anticipate there's going to be more black celebrity buffoonery at the DNC than at the BET Awards. Somebody told me that the Democratic National Convention is going to out coon the BET Awards. Somebody told me that the Chicago DNC is going to outdo the BET Awards. It's going to be a black celebrity house Negro gatekeeper circus. I said it's going to be a black celebrity house Negro gatekeeper circus in, in, circus in Chicago. But let me get to another contradiction. I want to talk to black men and black women on this next contradiction. I want to talk to black men and black women on this next contradiction. I'm trying to understand how we don't have a single independent black hospital that I'm aware of. We don't have any grassroots black banks. We got blast bank, black banks, but they're bourgeoisie. They're run by black bourgeoisie. We don't have a single grassroots black bank. We don't have a single grassroots hospital. We don't have a single grassroots supermarket. We have almost no real independent grassroots black schools. We don't have any grassroots manufacturing or distribution network, but y'all raising millions of dollars for a woman who's only black when it benefits her. I want to deal with this contradiction. Let's deal with the contradiction of black men and black women raising millions of dollars for Kamala Harris's presidential campaign. But you ain't got the same energy to build schools. You ain't got the same energy to build banks. You ain't got the same energy to build hospitals. You ain't got the same energy to build supermarkets. You ain't got the same energy to create jobs so black men don't have to kill each other on the streets. You ain't got the same energy to create a black distribution network. You don't have the same energy 
for black manufacturing, but you got millions for Kamala Harris. Mixed race Africans who you say are not black, but you raise them millions. Can we please expose the contradictions in the black community? Can we please expose the contradictions in the black community? Now, as far as you voting, I've never told a single Negro not to vote. I've never told you not to vote, just like I've never told you not to go to church. I've never told you not to vote, just like I've never told you not to go to church. I've never told you not to vote, just like I've never told you not to go to church. What I told you is your vote will never matter to the black community until it is organized. I don't care if Donald Trump win. I don't care if Kamala Harris win. The results for you will be as exactly the same. I don't care if Donald Trump win. I don't care if Kamala Harris win. The same governmental agenda against the black community will be carried out irrespective of whether the White House is painted blue or the White House is painted red. It doesn't matter if the White House is painted blue or if the white ma if the White House is painted red. They're going to do the same thing to us regardless of who the president is. They did the same thing to us under Barack Obama that they did to us under George Bush. They did the same thing to us under Barack Obama as they did to us under George Bush. They did the same thing to us under Lyndon Baines Johnson as they did under Richard Nixon. They did the same thing to us under Joe Biden as they did to Donald Trump. I don't care who wins the White House. Black people will lose. Let me say it again. Let me say it so you can understand, overstand and understand. Let me say it so you can understand, overstand and understand. It don't matter who win. It don't matter who you vote for. So go vote. Go vote. Vote for who you want. Vote your heart. Vote your conscience. Vote your mind. It don't matter who you Negroes vote for. Kamala or Donald. Kamala Harris and Donald Trump are going to do the same thing for black people. And that is nothing. Nothing at all. The Republicans and the Democrats have the same agenda for black America. The only difference is the tactic. Republicans are honest, Democrats practice deception. Republicans are honest, Democrats practice deception. Republicans are honest and Democrats practice deception. That's right. Same agenda. It don't matter who wins. Do you remember Kamala Harris tweeting out a picture about supporting minority businesses in the picture? had about a dozen minorities and not a single black person. Who remembers the infamous Kamala Harris small business, minority small business tweet? Who remembers that tweet? I'm going to post it so my Democratic Party plantation slaves don't forget. Does anybody remember Vice President Kamala Harris tweeting out a picture of minorities who own businesses saying her and President Biden support minority businesses and she didn't have a single black person in the picture. Who remembers that? Who remembers the infamous Kamala Harris tweet? A whole bunch of minorities, not a single black person. I'm gonna tell y'all what she gonna do. She's gonna bring back diversity, equity, and inclusion. Kamala Harris is gonna bring back diversity, equity and inclusion but guess what you will still be excluded because you don't understand how diversity equity and inclusion goes she's going to include the east indians her family and race kamala harris is going to take care of the east indians her family and race kamala harris is an east indian presidential candidate she's going to take care of the east indians She's going to take care of the Asians, the Chinese. She's going to take care of the Latinos, the Native Americans, the immigrants, the rainbow gangers, the feminists. Guess who's going to be left out? Guess who's going to be left out of diversity, equity, and inclusion? Guess who's going to be left out? 
the black folks. She's going to have one token Negro on her presidential cabinet. She's going to have one token Negro who's probably going to be mixed race. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. She's going to have a token Negro. Everybody else is going to be people of color, but only one black person. In other words, you will be a minority amongst the minorities. You will be a minority amongst the minorities. You will be a minority amongst the minority. Oh, yes. She's the diversity, education, and inclusion president. She's the diversity, education, and inclusion president. And guess what? She's going to include every color except yours. Remember what she said in that interview? We can't do stuff just for black people. We can't do stuff just for black people. But you did stuff just for homosexuals. You did stuff just for Asians. You did stuff just for Native Americans. You did stuff just for transgenders. You did stuff just for immigrants. Look what y'all doing for the migrants. Look what y'all doing for the migrants. They getting childcare. They getting free housing. They getting work permits. They're going to have voting rights. Look what y'all doing for the migrants. And they are not even American citizens. And you know what? I heard a Democratic Party plantation Negro ask Kamala Harris what she's going to do about the migrant crisis. I heard Al Sharpton, Jesse Jackson, Benjamin Ben Crump. I ain't heard the Kappas, the Alphas, the Sigmas, the Qs. I ain't heard the Zetas, the AKAs, the SG Rolls, or the Deltas, the Iotas. I ain't heard the Congressional Black Caucus, the Urban League, the NAACP. I ain't heard not near a black bourgeoisie ask Kamala Harris, what is she going to do about the migrant crisis that's purging New York and Chicago of black people? Guess what? We going to get more migrant crises under Kamala Harris. How much y'all want to bet? How much y'all want to bet? There's going to be a crisis in India. Who wants to bet me some money right now? Who wants to bet me some money right now? There's going to be a crisis in East India and Kamala Harris is going to bring a million East Indians to America to purge out the black cities. Y'all don't hear me though. Y'all don't hear me though. Y'all don't hear me though. You have a white man running against an East Indian woman. You have a Caucasian racist running against an East Indian racist. That's what you have. That's what you have. Now, some of y'all say, wait a minute, Dr. Umar. Wait a minute, Dr. Umar. I thought you said mixed race Africans are African. Yes. But they must be biologically and psychologically African. Let's look at Kamala Harris's ancestry. Her father is mixed race, Jamaican, African, and East Indian. Now, my Jamaican Africans, I want y'all to speak up on this. We're my Jamaican Africans. I want y'all to speak up. I want my Jamaican Africans to speak up on this. We do have a lot of East Indian Jamaican Africans in, in Jamaica. We have a lot of mixed race, East Indian and Jamaican Africans in the land of Marcus Garvey. And if my Jamaican Africans are being honest, if my Jamaican Africans are being honest, many of the mixed race East Indian Jamaicans consider themselves better than Jamaican Africans. I know because I've been to Jamaica plenty of times. The mixed race East Indian Jamaican mixed race. Where my Jamaicans at? Where my the the e the mixed race East Indian Jamaicans, the mixed race half black half East Indian, the mixed race Indian Jamaican Africans, consider themselves better than regular Jamaican Africans. This is a fact. The mixed race East Indian Jamaican consider themselves better than the everyday Jamaican. That's who Kamala Harris's father was. That's who Kamala Harris's father is. He was a mixed race, East Indian, Jamaican, African. He was a mixed race, 
East Indian Jamaican African who thought he was better than regular Jamaicans. He raised his daughter to think she was better than regular Jamaicans because of Kamala Harris really considered herself a Jamaican African. If Kamala Harris really considered herself a Jamaican African, if Kamala Harris really considered herself a Jamaican African, why don't we hear her pushing the Honorable Marcus Messiah Garvey? Why don't we hear her pushing Sam Sharp and Paul Bogle and Bob Marley? If Kamala Harris is really a proud Jamaican African, why did she never correct people when they called her a South Asian? I've never seen Kamala Harris be called a South Asian or an East Indian, and she corrected the interviewer by saying, I am a mixed race African. Yes, I am East Indian. Yes, I am South Asian, but I am also a Jamaican African. I never heard her say that. I never heard her say I'm a Jamaican American or Jamaican African or an American African. I never heard her say I am a Jamaican African or a Jamaican American or an American African. I never heard Kamala Harris clarify when people called her a South Asian East Indian. So if you black people want to keep calling her that. So she has a black grandparent. So she's a quadroon. She has a black grandparent. That makes you a quadroon. If you have one black grandparent, you are a quadroon. If you have one black great grandparent, you are an octoroon. She's not an octoroon because she has a black grandparent. She's a quadroon. Now, I don't automatically dismiss quadroons from being African. I do not automatically dismiss quadroons from being African. I don't automatically dismiss quadroons from being African, like an Amber Rose, if you would. But I'm dismissing Kamala Harris from being African, although she's a quadroon, because I've never seen Kamala Harris proudly proclaim her African ancestry. Remember, According to the Pan-African movement, you have to be biologically black and psychologically black. Is Kamala Harris biologically black? Yes, she's a quadroon. Is she psychologically black? Hell no. She wasn't raised by her mother to be African and she wasn't raised by her mixed race East Indian father to be African. So Kamala Harris passes the biologically African test. She does not pass the psychologically African test. Amber Rose, I have to see if my good sister Amber Rose will pass the psychologically African test. Does my brother Drake pass the psychologically African test? I'm not so sure Barack Obama passed the psychologically African test, but y'all made him African anyway by hypocritical, contradictory Democratic Party plantations. We made Barack Obama black. We made Barack Obama wasn't psychologically black. He was biologically black, but he wasn't psychologically black. And now y'all want to make Kamala Harris. If y'all going to make Kamala Harris psychologically black, then you have to make Amber Rose psychologically black and you have to make Drake psychologically black. You cannot cancel Amber and Drake unless you're going to cancel Kamala. I'm going to say it again. There will be no contradictions. There will be no contradictions if you are not going to give Amber Rose a pass. And if you are not going to give Drake a pass, you cannot give Kamala Harris a pass. Where my unapologetically Africans at? Are y'all with me tonight, family? Are y'all with me tonight? Who's with the King Kong of consciousness tonight? We calling out all contradictions tonight. We calling out all y'all not going to cancel Drake and cancel Amber Rose, but y'all don't want to cancel Kamala Harris. Y'all out here raising tens of millions of dollars. Who want to tap in with Dr. Umar right now? Tap in with the prince. Wait a minute. We're not going to tap in. I need to expose a couple European contradictions. Let me expose three Caucasian contradictions. Let me expose three Caucasian contradictions. I want to expose three 
Caucasian contradictions. I want to expose three Caucasian contradictions, and then I'm going to let y'all tap it. Candace Owens is a Republican Party plantation slave. Roland Martin is a Democratic Party plantation slave. Those are the two black community plantation whips. They are the whips for the black community. Roland Martin is the Democratic Party plantation whip for the Negroes. And Candace Owens is the Republican Party whip for the Negroes. Now, let me expose three Caucasian contradictions. Reverse racism. A Neanderthal nation, feel free to tap in on this. Caucasian nation, feel free to tap in on this. Feel free to tap in. And then you have to leave once I go back to, but I want y'all in on this. Caucasian nation, Neanderthal nation, Snow Bunny Mafia. I want you in on this. I never told you not to vote. You don't have to tell me you're voting. I never told you not to vote. Your vote will never matter to the black community until it's organized. Go vote, my sister. You're not hurting anyone and you're not helping anyone. Please go vote. You're not hurting anyone and you're not helping anyone. Please go vote. You're not hurting anyone in the black community and you're not helping anyone in the black community. Please go vote. Now, Snow Bunny Mafia, contradiction number one. There's no such thing as reverse racism. Reverse racism is a lie, a scam, and a front. Reverse racism is a concept invented by Caucasians so they can play the victim card. Oh, yes. Y'all say we like to play the race card. Well, guess what? Y'all like to play the victim card. Y'all say we like to play the race card. Guess what? Y'all like to play the victim card. Y'all say we like to play the race card. But guess what? Y'all like to play the victim card. Reverse racism. Racism is a group system of domination and monopolization of resources, opportunities, and privileges. In order to be a racist, you must be part of a system that is able to disenfranchise an entire group of people. If you don't belong to a system that is able to disenfranchise an entire group of people, you can't be raised. Black people have no system of control whatsoever over Caucasians. Black people have no system of control whatsoever over Caucasians. We can't miseducate your kids. We can't hurt you at the hospital. We can't deny your mortgage. We can't stop you from getting a student loan. We can't keep you out of college. We can't give you a long prison sentence. Uh -uh. We can't do that. Now, some of y'all are going to say, what about the black judges? What about the black loan officers? What about the black school teachers? They work for white institutions. Who controls the institution? Not who works for the institution. Who controls the institution? The fact that you have a black judge means nothing. They work for what? A white judicial system. The fact you have a black teacher means nothing. They work for a white miseducation system. The fact that you have a black banker means nothing. They work for a white financial institution in order for there to be reverse racism. In order for there to be reverse racism. In order for there to be reverse racism, black people have to have the power to disenfranchise white people. In what world? In what world? In what state, in what county, in what city do black people have the power in America and white people do not? Can somebody help me out, please? Can somebody give me one city in America? Can somebody give me one county in America? Can somebody give me one state in America where black people control the banks, control the criminal justice system, control the economy, control the courts, control the institutions, control the hospitals, 
control the schools. Can somebody give me one black city in this country that has a black power structure and not a white power structure? I'll wait for your answer. I'll wait for your answer. Dear white people, can you name one city? Dear white people, can you name one county? Dear white people, can you name one state where there is a black power structure that is oppressing white people? If you can't name one city, one state, one county where there is a black power structure oppressing white people, don't you ever again in your life use the word reverse racism. Don't you ever again, again in your life use the word reverse racism. That is a complete contradiction. Reverse racism. Nothing could be further from the truth. Nothing can be further from the truth. Let me expose another Caucasian contradiction. Let me expose another Caucasian contradiction. Anti-racist training. Y'all be just making up shit. You white folks be just making up shit. Anti-racist training. So according to anti-racist theory, and you do got Negro peons who support this nonsense. According to anti-racist theory, you can teach somebody not to be a racist. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You can teach somebody not to be a racist. Can somebody please email me the anti-racist curriculum? I want to look at this. Can somebody please email me the anti-racist curriculum that will teach white people to stop dominating, monopolizing, controlling resources, privileges, and opportunities? Can somebody please? Please send me the curriculum. Can I please see somebody's anti-racist curriculum? I want to see how exactly y'all go about removing racism from the white psyche. I need to see this. Because according to anti-racist training, you can stop a white person from being a racist. Can somebody please show me the curriculum? Another contradiction. Another contradiction. Another contradiction. Another contradiction, brothers and sisters. We got to deal with it. I'm going to do one more white contradiction. I'm going to do one more white contradiction. Y'all ready for this one? Y'all ready for this one? White guilt I don't know who the hell came up with this bold face lie white guilt what the f I need somebody to help me with the white guilt. White guilt. Can somebody please help me with the white guilt? So let me get this straight. You enslaved us globally for 500 years. 246 in America, but globally 500 years. You colonized our mother continent for well over a century and a half. You have come up repeatedly with obstacles to black people achieving equality, not only in America, in the Caribbean, South America, Central America. My Canadian Africans deal with racism every day. My British Africans, my French Africans, my Austrian Africans, my Africans in Ireland and Scotland and Sweden and Norway, my Africans all over the world, Australia, even in Africa, because y'all still control our economies, we deal with racism. You have never taken a break from being racist for 500 years. You have never taken a break from being racist for 500 years. You have never taken a break from being a racist for 500 years.
hundred years. As soon as slavery was over, 